what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Scent of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a classic, the first men's fragrance from this, you know, big time designer house. It's from 1971. It is classified as a woody aromatic and it is none other than Yves Saint Laurent's Pour Homme. So as we do in every single one of my individual fragrance reviews, we're gonna break down the fragrance into five parts. First, taking a look at its box and bottle presentation. Then I'm gonna talk about the fragrance's notes and you know, kind of describe what I pick up on in the scent, uh, you know, the notes that I think stand out the most. And then I'm gonna go over its performance based on my experience wearing the fragrance. Then I'm gonna talk about my thoughts and then give it my overall rating. So before we jump into the video, if it is your first time here, make sure to subscribe, especially if you like classic men's fragrance reviews. If you have an Instagram, check out my scent of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel, photos of fragrances from my collection, and daily scent of the day posts. Um, if you have a TikTok, follow Sabro88. That is my TikTok. It is not fragrance related, it's something a little bit different, you know, more centered around champagne and partying. And then, um, of course, if you are interested in, you know, picking up or purchasing some, you know, new fragrances that are sort of rare and harder to find that are vintage things that I've talked about on my channel I am listing a lot of these on my Mercari page and I will put the link in the description if you can't click on it just copy and paste it into the browser and it should take you right to the page again these are things that I've worn that I've reviewed that I just don't find myself using a lot and again I like to bring new stuff in and you know it's kind of purge some of the things that are not being used at all another big shout out in this video is going to go to Anuj from Enchant Perfumes Parfums, excuse me, that is a, a gentleman. You can follow him on Instagram. I'll, I'll put the, the handle here in the, in the video. And um, I got a lot of the Bodyline products for this fragrance uh, recently from his website. Um, and you know, I didn't initially get it from him, the scent, but I did get the backup bottle too. So I'll talk about that in a little bit. But anyway, let's take a look at Pour Home by Yves Saint Laurent. Okay, as always, we'll start things off with the presentation. Um, let's take a look at the box here too. So you got the red box. Poor Ohm, you know, in white with a black YSL logo, eau de toilette, natural spray. This is a 100 ml bottle on the top. You've got that YSL logo. And on the back, you got some brand information. And then on the bottom, you've got some more with looks like a batch code there. This one reads um, 6HAE. And this one is made in France too. So I got this and this is the bottle. You know, pretty simple, really nice, classic looking with that big red built-in sprayer. Let's check out the distribution on this one here in a second. You know, it says pour ohm and size and concentration here on the bottom of the bottle. That batch code 6HAE, that matches, so it's the same one. So I got this one on eBay initially. You know, I have used a decent amount of it. And I got this one um, from uh, Enchant Parfum. So you can see this one is an unboxed, but taking a look at the distribution, it's a great sprayer, uh, built in, really nice, you know, thick glass bottle. You know, nothing, nothing, nothing cheap with Yves Saint Laurent. You never get any type of cheap feeling with that with that company. Um, let's take a look at the, you know, the, the later iteration of the of the actual fragrance. Here's the box for, or excuse me, the box, the bottle for the one that came out in 2012 13 there was one before that where it had a leather cover over it too so they just changed the you know they changed the style up of it once it was relaunched in the gentleman's line it has some of the notes listed there um and i've got this one on the other hand so let's take a look here um this is a neat, really good sprayer too so this this feels nice it's obviously a smaller bottle i think this is just a i think it's an 80 ml um you can see the bottom of the sticker there the box looks something like this so you can see, not as nice. You know, I, I don't know why they changed it, but I guess they wanted to make it look a little bit more modern and, and shrunk the amount of fragrance that comes in it. I think there's another one in here. We'll take a look. Yeah, so here, same same thing. This is just a different one. Um, so, you know, you can see the differences in the, in the box and the bottle, but obviously this is gonna be a review of the vintage version. Okay, let's list the notes for Pour Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. In the top, you've got lemon, lavender, lemon verbena, Pettigrain and bergamot. So big citrus bursts in the top. Uh, in the middle or heart of the fragrance, you have rosemary, majorium, geranium, Brazilian rosewood, clary sage, and carnation. There's a lot of notes in this obviously 70s fragrance, so I do have to write them down. And then in the base of the fragrance, you have vetiver, musk, patchouli, cedar, sandalwood, tonka bean, and amber. So I was really surprised by the base notes when I actually read them and looked into it because where's the oak moss? You know, I definitely get a citrus burst and then it dries down to a really green, mossy, dirty dry down. 
So um, I was surprised that it wasn't listed, and you know that that sort of was a shock to me. But that's what it says on again according to Fragrantica. Uh, I didn't really look too much you know elsewhere. I actually I think I did try to look on base notes actually, but I, I didn't see it there. So um, but anyway, citrus on the top and a green dirty dry down. Okay, so the performance for YSL Pour Homme. It is actually really, really good for a citrus forward scent. You guys know fresher scents on top things that are predominantly citrus fragrances, they tend to sort of fade. So you have to really spray a ton of them or apply them on your clothes. This one is almost like a less is more because of that dry down, that powerful green mossy dry down that it has. That is what's gonna stick with you. The citrus stays and it's kind of in an underlying scent, but I get easily an eight hour uh, performance out of this on clothing, it lasts even more. Um, when it comes to the new version, I think it's still a decent performer and it's still essentially the same scent. However, um, it's not gonna last as long and it's not as pungent or potent, you know what I mean? So it, there is some differences, I'll talk about that in a moment, but performance on this is spectacular for a citrus forward scent. I get easily over a work day. Some of the things that you can get to push the performance. You guys know I collect the body line and this being a 70s fragrance has a full body line and it's really cool too. So first let's take a look at the aftershave. I'm just going to show you guys this stuff briefly. This is a splash bottle, 60 ml. It's got this kind of cool green mouthwash, blue mouth, green blue mouthwash look to it. It smells fantastic. I put it on the other day. I shaved with it um, the last weekend. So, uh, you know, again, my beard has already grown in, but you know, if any of you guys follow the Instagram page, I posted that on the story for scent and shave of the day. I, I do that as well on the weekends. That's usually when I do my one shave per week. Um, they have an aftershave balm that comes in this pump here. This stuff smells amazing. It's so clean. It was so fresh. Again, these are the things that I got from Anoush. Everything was in pristine condition, which is, is very important when you're getting some of the body lines or soaps or things like that, because they can also go sour. And, and same thing with the, um, the fragrance because this is a citrus forward scent and it being vintage. He was selling it as an unbox. I, I just wanted a backup of this because I really started to enjoy it. I've been on a citrus aromatic kick recently. And again, you noticed that if you follow the Instagram. So, um, you know, again, all perfect condition. Uh, they have a deodorant and it's great because it's not an alcohol-based deodorant stick. It is one that, you know, so these will last. You don't have to worry about it drying up or shriveling up like the alcohol deodorant sticks do. And it doesn't leave the skin irritation. Smells great. Smells just like the fragrance, just like the balm and the aftershave. And it does last. It's not like it, it goes away and you start sweating. And they also have a deodorant spray as well too. Smells just like the fragrance. I brought this to the gym. This one I picked up on eBay. No, actually I got it from Enchant actually a while ago. Um, just This is my second order with them. For, for this fragrance. Um, this one smells awesome. And they have bars of soap as well too. Can't find the shower gel. Maybe this was before shower gel was a thing. Um, you can see that too. It's a perfumed soap bar. Smells amazing. So the full body line for these really completes the fragrance and it really pushes the performance to probably into the 10 hour range. All right, guys, it's time for my overall thoughts for Pour Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, this is hands down one of the kings of the original classic men's citrus aromatic fougere-esque style fragrances too. So, you know, you got some great ones up there like your Armani Eau Pour Homme. Um, and this one is neck and neck with that. Um, you know, so th this fragrance, it, it really is, let's just get, let's get the, uh, I've been spraying this one too. So let's get the, the opening on there. Um, it's just, it's such a crisp citrus opening and it's fresh lemon, zesty lemon. And then, you know, again, once it dries down, it comes to this green mossy type of, uh, just really dirty scent. And that's what's so unique about this. Again, the top has that citrus sort of barbershop talc powder, and then the dry down is this dirty masculine, but also clean and fresh at the same time um, type of green scent to it too. A lot of citrus aromatics do not have the greenness in it where, where this one does. Um, and you really notice it in the vintage version. It's less in this one. This is still really good. It still smells awesome, and I'm really happy to have it because if I want to spray this, more, wear this more on daily version, it's just to save my vintage, I can do that. And essentially the scent is the same, performance lacks a little bit and it's it doesn't have as dirty or skanky of a dry down like this one does and that's what makes this so special um you know my girlfriend really enjoyed the smell on it she said it just smelled clean and crisp you know again i have to try a million fragrances so i'm sure she's overwhelmed at certain times um but you know this one really reminds me of koros not that the scent is anything alike because it's not but it reminds me of koros because koros is obviously the same house Yves saint laurent but it is dirty and fresh and clean at the same time and that's what this does and it does a really good job 
However, the look for this one is more mature, more less partying, more so kind of gentleman, you know, businessman look, something that you would wear to the office or that you just have. And again, you can wear this all year round because the freshness allows it to be a summer scent. And I think the dry down will help it perform. And that's what lasts. So that can cut through the cold. Um, I've been wearing it. Obviously, it's the winter time here. Um, you know, we're starting to come out of it, but you know, it's starting to get really cold again, unfortunately. So um, I think this can be a, a an all year round scent for sure. Um, it's definitely signature scent worthy. If this is something that you want to wear all the time and you have a lot of it, this can be your one fragrance. There is a concentrate version. I do own that, um, but that's a you know that's a fragrance for another video. We'll talk about that another time. So. Um, um, you know, if you guys are fans of the movie adaptation of Brett Easton Ellis's book, American Psycho, you can see this in Patrick Bateman's opening monologue when he's in his you know, room and you can see it opens up his uh, bathroom cabinet and he's just going on about his routine, his skin routine, his fitness routine. And, and poor Owen by Yves Saint Laurent is in there in multiple different um different things he has obviously the fragrance but he's got different parts of the body line and it's strange because in the book he wears paul sebastian ps fine cologne which it doesn't seem like something he would wear because in the movie he's obsessed with designer high-end things and this is at the time and still is a, a high-end designer so it's, it's surprising that he would wear ps fine cologne because now we look at that as a cheap cologne something that you can go buy at a, at a marshall's or, or tj maxx or ross you know even in a gift set and you're spending 15 bucks on that. And I'm sure back then it was more expensive, but you know, given his you know, insane you know, need to be the coolest and have the greatest things all the time, this is super materialistic. It makes sense that he would have poor home you know, by YSL and, and the full body line presentation and everything too. He does have body line products in the book, but the fragrance that he talks about wearing is PS Fine Cologne, surprisingly too. But anyway, that's besides the point. This stuff, it, it's a fantastic fragrance. Um, you know, again, very easy to wear anywhere and it smells really good if you're into the classic and you like the citrus aromatics and you want something that's fresh and clean but also has a dry down that will make you stand out absolutely check this out if you can't get this version you know check um, out try to find one of these these are still around and so are these um, they're not in inexpensive unfortunately but you know if you can get them try to do it um, an alternative that you can pick out is um, I would say Loewe Pour Homme that's a good alternative to this one doesn't have the same feeling but it, it's getting you close um, and you can get a five ounce bottle of that for like around $55 if you can't get the original uh, YSL Pour Homme Okay, guys, it's time to do my ratings for Poor Own by Yves Saint Laurent. So let's talk about the presentation again. You know, I absolutely love it. The box is awesome. Built-in sprayer. Excellent, excellent look to it. Really like it. Going to give this a 9 out of 10 for the presentation. As far as the performance goes, it is easily an 8-hour scent. That's what I'm going to stick with. So if we're going to give it an 8 out of 10. As far as the scent goes, it's fantastic. One of the best citrus aromatics, if not the best. Um, I'm going to be doing some reviews of those types of fragrances soon, so then I'll finally do a list where I rank them all. But this is a hands down a 9 out of 10 cent, which is going to bring the overall rating from me for YSL Pour Homme to 9 out of 10. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. That was my review of YSL Pour Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. So please let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think of this fragrance? Have you tried it? Have you tried the re-release of it? Do you have anything that you prefer as an alternative? Let me know if you love it, if you hate it, if you're like me and you think it's just awesome. Please let me know. You guys know I always appreciate all the interaction. I wanted to uh, make sure to let you guys know to subscribe if you haven't done so. Check out the Instagram page, the TikTok, and of course the Mercari page. And again, shout out to Anuj from Enchant Par uh, Parfums. Check that website out. They have a lot of great vintage stuff as well. And, um, you know, thank you again so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.